Dragon? I didn't take anything. I haven't taken anything for ages. I just dehydrated. Well, you two were generating a lot of heat out there. Hey, listen, I think I should take yours tonight. Bug down on the floor or whatever. Last thing she needs is you hitting on her when she's sick. Someone needs to keep an eye on her. What am I? Blind and neglectful. I'm gonna get the car and I'll meet you out the front. All right. All better? Yes, thanks. Talk to you then. It's all part of the service, ma'am. I'll tell you about the free full body massage. That's for me. <laughs> it's off. Come on. Fucking wanker. Easy, Tiger. Big night, eh? Saw the graffiti. Your handiwork? <laughs> if it had have been me, I wouldn't have misspelled wanker. Hey, Henry, you got a fan out there, mate? Yeah, what's the point of having a security guard if he can't stop some dirtbag defaming me? Oh, and um, this arrived for you from a real estate agency in Sorrento. Yeah, I finally got round to selling my holiday house. Wasn't using it much over the last few years, so what's the point? This will just be on open mail, I guess. You OK? Yeah. Alan's handwriting. Thanks, guy. Whoa. Someone didn't get my sleep last night. Yeah, Bridge, you look amazing. Just, just screw you, Henry, you all right? It's a hell of a bedside oh. manner. Henry's lucky I didn't have a scalpel, otherwise it sliced his... Whoa. Do you mind? I'm eating the sausage roll. <sighs> so, big hangover, huh? Why does everybody assume that just because I look like total shit that I was out partying last night? Were you? Yes. But, oh, all right, fine, I must be hungover. <laughs> What's up? I didn't take anything last night. And I haven't taken anything for the last couple of weeks. So what if my feeling like total shit is? All those party drugs finally wreaking their revenge, melting your insides, turning your brain to pus. Are you trying to make me feel better? Look, if it's not a hangover, then it's probably just a flu. And if you're still worried, just get some tests. Mm. I think I prefer not to know. <laughs> like your style. Head in the sand, ass in the air. Gives me somewhere to park my bike. You right? <coughs> oh! Bridget. Do you want me to call Olivia? You right? Geez, you'll do anything to see me, won't you? Do you know who he is? Yeah, the night security guard who patrols the area, Barry Rogers. I've never met him. A bit late now. Poor old Baz. 
explains why he couldn't stop the graffiti. You know that bloke, Henry? Oh, no, not really. Just in passing. All right, you. Come with me. Not you. Come on. We're going to do some tests. STD, HIV, Hep B, Hep C, it works. And that is not a request. Sir, how is Mr Rogerson's backpack on the bank? Apart from, take a look, full of mobile phones. Well, you must have a lot of friends. Ray, you have five minutes. I want to show you something. A week before her death, Alan mailed this to our holiday house in Sorrento. That's her handwriting. Is this about your dead wife? Yeah, man, it's about my dead wife. Just watch. Name? Probably Wentworth. Uh, Robert. Mr Wentworth, do you agree to participate in this drug trial? Yeah. Have you ever participated in a drug trial before? No. And you're willing to adhere to all the prescribed... What are you doing? Mate, I've got a dead body out there. Now, isn't all this dropat stuff yesterday's news? I think my wife and son were killed because of this guy. I right, just hear me out. Robbie Wentworth. Now, he was put into the drug trial two weeks after Dropat knew the drug was bad. That doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Unless he was put into the trial to deliberately kill him. <laughs> you kill me, Doc. You really do. Why would Ellen make a copy and mail it to herself? Because she felt her life was in danger and this was a very clever way of preserving the evidence. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Spence, um, I've sent Bridget home. Right. Prick. I thought you'd put all this behind you. I thought you'd answered all the questions you needed about Ellen and Toby's death. Olivia, that video proves that Robbie was put into the drug trial after they knew there were serious problems. The drug trials went wrong. And what about Ellen? She found some files, wanted to go public. Spence, I understand you not wanting to let go. You lost your family, but okay, you have... listen, before you go on, let me assure you right now, I am well and truly over the anger and the depression. Uh, yeah, but you're locked in denial. The first stage of grief. Spence, you have got to move on with your life. Ellen was on to this, all right? That's why she was killed. Of that, I am 100% I am positive. Now, if I can just find out why this guy was murdered, then maybe it will tell me who murdered him. Don't you see, Olivia? Whoever killed Robbie Wentworth killed Ellen and Toby. Hi. Who are you? I'm Bridget. You're a little bit older than Dana's usual dates, aren't you? I'm a father. What are you doing here? I live here. I'm Dana's flatmate. So did you just let yourself in? I have a key. I own the house. How long have you lived here? A few months. Why are you here, Mr Connolly? It's Reynolds. I was looking for Dana. <laughs> She'll be at work. Well, I called her. She was out, and she's not answering her mobile. Hey, hey. Come to cheer you up after the day you've had? Xbox. Def Jam icon. Tell Dana I will catch her later. All right, Stephen. Judge. Long time no see. What the hell is he doing here? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Stay down. Stay down. Either this game is really hard or I'm just uncomfortable. Look, it's easy, mate. Okay? I'm trying to beat the crap out of you. You're trying to beat the crap out of me. Easy, easy. Oh. Steve, you're back. How are you feeling? I had a hurl in the river around lunchtime, and then I saw a dead body, which the police called a floater, and then Olivia pricked me full of holes and drained me of blood. Oh, yes! You mind, Yatch? Oh, your dad was here. Malcolm was here. When? When I got home. He said he was looking for you. He let himself in. See, that's what he does. He thinks he can just walk in here. He said he owned the place. He did have a key. Well, of course he owns it. 
just like he thinks he owns me. Anyway, I'm going to cook us a really healthy dinner. But there's only enough for two. I don't think I'm going to try that. <laughs> It's not bad, but it's uh, not a patch on mine. All right. Cool. Oh. Hello, nice. Hey, guys. Hey. You, um, had the phones I sold you last week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I've been meaning to tell you. Uh, yeah, pitch him. What? Why? Dude, I love this phone. Yeah, just do it, all right? Henry. We're running five minutes late. Should I go get Olivia? I'll get it. I'll get it. Bridget said you ran some tests. As a lawyer, you should be aware of the confidentiality laws. I can't give you those results. Look, I know you don't like me. Don't try and deny it. I'm planning on it. Dana, what's going on? Spence. I'm, um, I'm really worried about Bridget. I mean, who knows what kind of damage she's done to herself over the years. Well, there's no point speculating until we get her test results back. Exactly, which is why I'm here. Look, I'm not going to get the results until tomorrow. OK, look, we all know she's sick. But I think it might be mental as much as physical. You think I should talk to her? It's a great idea. Why don't you pop over for lunch? I'll cook up one of my famous pastas. What are you doing here? Lunchtime. Personal delivery. The test come back? No, they're not back yet. No. I'll leave it here for later. No, I just thought I'd swing by and say good day. Oh yeah. Well, good day. Good day. I mean, it must have been quite a shock yesterday. Finding that corpse in the river. I mean, anybody's going to need counselling after that. <laughs> The dead guy is the least of my problems. Yeah? All right. Now let's talk about your real problems. <laughs> All right, look, I'm not here to play mind games with you, Bridge. I promise I'm not. Everyone's worried about you, especially Olivia. She is. OK, don't give me that look. Believe it or not, she's very worried about you. What was that you said about playing mind games? <laughs> OK. All right, I am here to appraise your mental state. My mental state is fine. There is absolutely nothing wrong with my mental state. It's your physical state you're worried about. What is it? I know I've been known to party pretty hard, and I know that's not a revelation. It's not like I'm not aware of the consequences of it. I just thought that it, if it ever came to that, you know, a, a bad ecky or that I'd just collapse and go into a coma and then slip away. Not for resuscitation? Bridge, people who lead these live for the now lifestyles. 
They're usually pretty insecure about who they are. Right, so I'm running away from monogamy and white picket fences because that's what I actually want. How did you get in here? I came through the front door with my key. You can't just walk in here. It's my house, Dana. I can walk in whenever I bloody want to. <laughs> right, and if you want to sell the place, you'll sell it from underneath me, right? Yes, I will. Because you just want me to disappear from your life. That'd be very convenient, wouldn't it? I'm a liability to you. I, I, I might embarrass you. Dr McKay, Judge Reynolds. I was just on the way out. Spence, you, you don't have to go. I'm afraid I do, Dan. What about lunch? Another time, perhaps. Steve, you got rid of the phone, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw it down a well, no problem. Henry, I love this phone. Yeah, well, Ray, if Ray finds Yeah, shut out, up. I don't want to know, I don't want to know. Well, it's just so angry. Take the sim out. <sighs> Hello, Ray. What are you doing here? Actually, I'm looking for McKay. Oh, uh, something you might be interested in, that Barry Rogerson, the night security guard. Mm. Blood alcohol level of 0.205. At least one dead body around here is the result of an accident. He's obviously gotten pissed, fallen in the river and drowned. Mm. What a muppet. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, Livy. Yeah. What about dinner tonight? What, you and me? Mm. Mm. What about Kristen? Oh, yeah, Kristen. Uh... Yeah, it wasn't working out, so uh, we broke up. Mm. Stop licking my tits. Take that as a no. Yep. I got a patient in eight minutes. That security guard, the dead one? Yeah. Wasn't me. Nah, he was a no in Elkie. He's fallen in the river and drowned. But we did manage to rescue his SIM card. There's a message on his voicemail that may interest you. You have one saved message. Rogerson, it's me. Haven't heard from you for a few days. I'm paying you to keep an eye on McKay for me, so I'd appreciate value for money. Call me back. It's Malcolm Reynolds. He's a Supreme Court judge. Now, why would a judge be paying a security guy to keep tabs on you? Mate, it's a long story. But according to him, it's about his daughter, Dana Connolly. The lawyer? I used to treat her. He has a very unhealthy fixation on her. You and this Dana, were you squeaky between the sheets? I reckon Daddy thinks you were, or are. Oh, and uh, call me an old softy, but I ran that Robbie Wentworth through the Leap database. Law school dropout, general druggy, couple of convictions for dealing. I can't see why anyone had staged an elaborate death for a worthless shitbag like that. trying desperately to reinvent herself as something interesting in the city. China? I mean, that's what all this party girl shit's all about, isn't it? <laughs> You're just scared people are going to find out the truth. But you're boring. <laughs> I mean, no wonder you're suicidal. I think you've got a death wish. I'm not suicidal. Really? Then why have you done that?
Where was she? Well, we're lucky Dame's father was there. We got the results back. Her liver enzymes off the touch, probably from long-term drug use. But it hardly explains florid hallucinations. So what do you think's causing it? I don't know. Maybe she's been taking something harder. Amphetamine psychosis. No, it's characterized by paranoia. She doesn't seem paranoid to me. What aren't you telling me? Nothing. I just want you to get well. Steve, can you take me home? Rich, I don't think you should be on your own. I'm not suicidal, I just need sleep. Oh, that's good. Well, you should go home, she should go home. I've got a few things to do, I'll swing by later and we'll have a chat. Come on. Come on. You okay? Yeah. Sit down. Oh. Come on. You okay? You okay? Yeah. I'll get Olivia. No, right. no, no, no. Well. See, I think Dana's trying to poison me. I really think she's trying to kill me. I do. Bridge. You may be a bit paranoid at the minute. Yeah, only if paranoia is a side effect of the poison. I had this dream. I know it's irrational. It's, it's just a really strong feeling that I've got. OK, we've got paprika, cumin, coriander seeds. Paprika, no. Cumin and coriander, yes. We had a curry last week. Did Dana eat that? No. She grabbed something at work. Right, OK, well, it's probably the common. I know you're humouring me, Steve, and it's really sweet. Look, it's just... Dana has given you a place to stay, you know, and she, she helps you out financially. OK, OK, look, I'm still going to get it all tested. I've got a former client who's a chemist. He, uh, he got done running a meth lab out of his basement. Now, I want you to pack a bag. Look, if, if Dana's really out to get you, you can't stay here, can you? I've got nowhere else to go. No, no, it's cool. I've got a spare room going at mine. And the guys won't mind having you there as long as you, you know, parade around and skimpy underwear and such. Are you taking advantage of this situation to get into my pants? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, I'll order you a cab. You right to meet me at Canal Road? Mm -hmm. well, that's good. Tom! I'll give you one minute, Stace. What is it, Henry? The phone. What's up with the phones, man? OK, you know the security guard who just drowned, Baz? Yeah. Yeah, I scored the phones from him to pass on to another mate of mine, and I kept a few for myself. So you're acting as a fence? No, 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 no. I was more of, a, like, a dating agency. I just wanted two parties up, you know? Oh, how romantic. Yeah, sort of. But, um, have you dumped it? Yes, of course. Pitched it, like you said. Sorry, Stace, I won't be another. <laughs> I want a refund. Yeah, OK. Thanks. Thanks. Hi, I thought you were getting a lift home with Steve. I'm um, just uh, meeting Steve here. I'm going to stay at his place. He's going to pick me up. Has he called you? No. No, do you want me to call him? No, 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 it's all right, it's all right. I'll just sit down. Are you OK? Keep a very close eye on her breathing. Oh, I'm bridging the canal 
Rodan's guy told me. How is she? Oh, she's not good. I don't know what it is. She's collapsed at work and I brought her here. Hi. Hi. Nurse tells me you're Bridget's GP. Olivia Bates, yeah. Can you run over the presentation with me? Sure. Um, she had flu-like symptoms, vomiting, nausea, general aches and pains. So I did a blood count and ran some UNAs. Yes, I saw that. So what are you thinking? Too early to say. I'm not too happy with her breathing. Sets are a bit ordinary. If they continue to go off, we may have to consider ventilating her. Sorry, did you just say ventilate her? I'm not sure we can do that. Hello? Spence, it's me. I'm at the hospital with Bridget. What's happened? She collapsed at work. She's in a pretty serious condition and they still don't know what's wrong with her. Listen, for some godforsaken reason, Bridget signed a power of attorney a couple of months ago, specifically for medical treatment, in the event that she'd be incapable of making those decisions herself. Did you just hear what I said? Don't you see? Whoever killed Robbie Wentworth killed Ellen and Toby. Spence, that power of attorney is Dana, and she's trying to stop Bridget from being treated. She needs to be put on a ventilator or she might die. Spence, I've been trying to get hold of Steve. He's not answering his phone. Do you know where he is? What's going on, Dana? I've been trying to explain. This is what Bridget wants. I've been entrusted as her power of attorney, and as awful as this is, I have no choice but to carry out her express wishes. The problem is Miss Keenan's a healthy young woman, not some preterminal cancer patient. Does she look like a healthy young woman? I have a duty of care. The patient's not brain dead. She has no terminal illness. It's very clear in her document. If things got to this point, she didn't want to be treated. Shine, Miss Keenan's obs are deteriorating. I don't give a damn about your power of attorney. If you don't ventilate her, I will. I need you to know I'm only trying to do what's right for Bridget. Respect a person's right to live or die as they choose. Dana, I need to show you something. You better get yourself a lawyer. Bridget's been poisoned. What? Jesus Christ, is she gonna is she? Why the fuck would you do something hey, like this to her? What's going on? What's going Bridget on? Bridget told me she thought she told me she thought Dana was trying to poison her. What? I didn't believe her. I thought she was being paranoid until I took samples of stuff from her kitchen. Steve, what is going on? Jerry here is an old client of mine, a chemist. He ran some tests on it for us. Found something wicked in the sugar. Thallium sulfate, just you know, traces of it. Thallium sulfate? Yeah, it's deadly. Enough of that stuff in, in your history. Thallium poisoning. Yeah, that'll present with flu-like symptoms. No wonder you didn't want to treat it. I'm calling the police. Oh shit, fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Dana! 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 Dana, wait! Did you 
do it? Did you poison Bridget? No! God, don't you get this? It was my dad. It was Malcolm. The poison was meant for me. He was trying to poison me. Why? Why would Malcolm try to kill you? Because of what I know, OK? What do you know? I know about Robbie. He was my boyfriend. It was my boyfriend and Malcolm had him killed in that drug trial. Yeah, no, good, sure. I'll call you later. We're just gonna be okay. Now they've identified the Thalium, they know how to treat her. Oh, thank God. They almost let her die, Spence. Talk to me, Dana. I met Robbie at uni, and I fell in love with him. It was perfect for a little while. But Malcolm didn't like him. He didn't like me seeing him. He was jealous? Uh, I broke it off and Robbie dropped out of law and disappeared. I graduated and started practicing and he came back. Started seeing each other again. But he was different. You know, the drugs he'd done, they'd, they'd messed him up. He was um, obsessive and controlling and abusive. Still loved him, though. What about your father? I, I don't know if Malcolm was being protective or... totally unknown to me. He conceived the plan to murder Robbie using the smokescreen of the faulty Dropat drug trial. I swear to you, Spence, I only found this out after I'd become your patient. Have you got issues with your own father you want to talk about? This is why Malcolm didn't want me to see you. He was, he was convinced I'd tell you everything. You know, I, I still can't believe he, he wanted to kill me. I mean, God, I've always known he was obsessed with me, but I've always loved him. So, Ellen finds out about Robbie's murder. And Malcolm organised her death. And my sons. Oh, Spence. What are you going to do? Spence! Dana told me everything. Dana? What did she say? You murdered Robbie Wentworth in the Dropat trial. And then when my wife found out... Shit, Reynolds! Hey, what do you think you're doing? This area is restricted. All right, all right. Yeah, there were traces of it in the sugar. At least you speak to Dana Connolly about it. Got an address? Hello? Dana, it's Spence. I'm on the way to your place. Listen, you could be in danger. Malcolm is... Hello, Dad. Why, Dana? Why what? You couldn't just shut up. You just couldn't shut up, could you? 
What are you going to do? Hmm? Come here to shut my mouth for me? Do you know what you've done? It's all going to come out. Everything. I can't control it anymore. Why have you done that to me? So it's all about you, is it, Dad? You have ruined me. And all I ever did was just love you. Protect you. And you have just thrown it back in my face! <laughs> This car. He's the killer. I think she's in danger. All right, you wait there. Don't move. move. Backup's on the way. Steve told me everything about Dana's dad and about what happened to me. I hear I've got you to thank. Hmm, what to blame? I think I'm going to get this one right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to give you hope. Me too. Off to the gym. Rowing, actually. Yeah, good way to blow. Cobwebs, I guess. Yeah, helps me think. What's up? Ah, oh, under investigation for that shooting. It should be a walk in the park. Thanks for your statement. I just told it how I saw it. Look, we can't prove conclusively that Malcolm Reynolds killed Ellen and Toby, but uh, we will look into it. And I suppose I should apologise for taking the piss earlier. Listen, mate, I appreciate all your help on this. I do. Let's get on with it. I gotta see a man about some mobile phones. Henry! Who's been a naughty boy?
Let's go.